back to my channel and welcome to today's video. In today's video I wanted to tell you what I think are the top 10 items to have when owning rats. So you may have seen the video I did where I told you what I thought were the top 10 items to have for mice. So if you have mice or you're thinking of getting mice I definitely recommend checking out that video. But today I wanted to focus on what I think are some of the best items to have when owning rats. Before that though I wanted to tell you about today's video sponsor which is Zoobio. They're an online store that sells pet supplies for a range of different species, from dogs, cats, small animals, reptiles, and also aquatics. So if you want to get some supplies for your rats, like some of the things I mentioned in this video, or maybe you want to get a few things for some of your other animals, I definitely recommend checking out their website. I'll leave their link down in the description below. But moving on to what I think are some of the top 10 items to have when owning rats, these are all very different items, but when combined together, I think they make a cage really interesting and fun for your rats. It's really important to have a busy and enriching cage for your rats. Because of how intelligent they are, you can't spend all of your time with them. So when they are in the cage, you want to make sure that it's fun and busy and that they have plenty of things to occupy them. So obviously this isn't going to be a full list of everything you need when owning rats. There are going to be other things that are obviously essential such as water bottles and things like that but hopefully this is a good starting point to give you a few ideas of things you can put into their cage. Now the first one might be a bit of an obvious one but that is hammocks. Now hammocks provide your rats with a comfortable place to sleep and most rats will really enjoy sleeping in these. Not only are they great to provide your rats with somewhere to sleep but they also act as fall breakers. So if you have a very tall cage there is a risk of your rats falling from the very top and falling to the bottom and injuring themselves. So placing things like hammocks throughout the cage to catch them if they do fall is a really great way to prevent them from injuring themselves. So I definitely recommend having a few hammocks, flat ones like these and also other shaped ones. They come in so many different varieties. I definitely recommend having some hammocks in your rat's cage because they will really appreciate them. Now you may find your rats chew the hammocks and you eventually have to replace them, but I still think it's worth providing them with hammocks because they do really enjoy using them. So I'll leave a link to all of my favourite hammock makers in the description, definitely check them out if you're looking for some hammocks, that's a good place to start. Or you can make your own hammocks, it's fairly easy if you have a sewing machine and know how to use it, your rats won't care what it looks like as long as it's comfortable. Now the next thing on my list is possibly the most important one in my opinion, and that is foraging toys. Now foraging toys like this one, this is my personal favourite, this is a foraging wheel. Just provide your rats with a great source of enrichment. I personally use this one to put their main diet in and it keeps them really really busy so I definitely recommend getting your rats for foraging toys if you haven't already. I do have a whole separate video talking about foraging toys and going into depth about the different types of foraging toys. So I'll leave that in the iCards and also down in the description. If you're interested in checking out that video I definitely recommend watching that one after you watch this video but I definitely recommend if there's anything on this list that you get your rats, definitely recommend getting them some foraging toys. Just to show you another example of a really great foraging toy, I have this one, which it's cute, it's in the shape of a rat but it also has a really good function. You can hide larger pieces of food in the bottom and they obviously have to work to get it out. So this is another great example of a really good foraging toy to get your rats. There's plenty out there on the market and giving them a variety of different foraging toys will continuously keep their brains active and working to figure out how to use these so these are really really great. So the next one I have to show you, I'm not entirely sure if it's going to fit in the whole frame of the camera, but that is ropes. Now as well as giving your rats an enriching cage, you also want to give them an active cage. So hanging ropes in your cage is a really great way to keep them active and get them moving around the whole cage and to utilise all of the space in the cage. Now you can go out and get ropes that are aimed at small animals and birds, but these tend to be a bit more pricey than this one I have here. This is just a dog rope and this cost me about £3, so really not much at all. And I just hang this in the cage with zip ties and they love to climb all over this, so I would definitely recommend looking at alternatives for ropes. You can get dog toys, you can also get horse lead ropes. Things like that are also really great to put in their cage, just to encourage them to be a bit more active. Now another great example of alternative ropes to your rat's cage is this IKEA tie holder. Now again, I think this only cost me about two or three pounds. It's a really great alternative to going out and buying the pet specific ropes. This one is a great cheap alternative and my rats really love this. They've kind of peed over it, so excuse that, but I do love using these in my cage. You can just attach them like this and they also act as really great fall breakers because they do take up the majority of the cage if you hang them like this. So they will catch your rats if your rats do fall from the top of the cage 
these are a really great alternative to buying more expensive ropes and I personally have a few of these and love using these in my rat's cage. Okay, so the next thing that I think is a staple when owning rats is lava ledges. Again, when talking about having an active layer in your rat's cage, placing these on the bars and hanging these on the bars is a great way to encourage your rats to climb around the cage and utilize all of the space. And these are also really good at keeping your rat's claws down. If you're not too confident about cutting your rat's claws yourself, place one of these under their water bottle and every time they hop up on this to have a drink, it should manage their claws and keep their claws nice and short and not too sharp. They also come in a range of different colours which I think is really nice if you have a specific colour theme like I do, although I always struggle to find the blue ones but I like that they come in loads of different colours as well. So the next thing is definitely a staple, a lot of rat owners have these and that is a Sputnik or a space pod, I think you call them in America. So these are great, you can either have them on the base of the cage like this or you can hang them from the top of the cage like this and rats will just really enjoy being in these. I think they like the fact that it has three openings so they feel pretty secure in that and they just like to sit in this and be high up in the cage. Again these come in a really wide variety of different colours which I think is great but in general I love providing my rats with these especially in the warmer months when they perhaps don't want to use hammocks if it's a bit too hot they will really enjoy sleeping on the plastic of this so I definitely recommend picking up a Sputnik or two Sputniks if your cage is big enough. The next category of items I think are great for providing your rats in their cage is ladders and bridges like this one. Again, we're working towards having an active layout in our rats cage, so providing them with ladders and bridges like this helps them to navigate around their cage and really utilise all of that space to make sure they're active and moving around the whole cage. And also we have these bendy bridges like this one, these just clip onto each side of the cage and it's really great to get your rats going from one section of the cage over to the other and they also really love chewing on these ones so I definitely recommend picking up a few like this. These are only two or three pounds again so really not too expensive and a really great thing to have in your rat's cage. So although technically providing your rats with any wooden toy in the cage will act as a chew toy, it doesn't hurt to provide them with specific chew toys as well. So the ones I have look like this and these just screw onto the side of the cage and they also help towards having an active layout because they help your rats climb from one section of the cage to the other and they also really love chewing them as well as you can see with this one. It's pretty chewed up and the other ones I have in the cage right now are a lot more chewed than this one so they really enjoy chewing things like this and it's good to provide wooden toys and chew toys in your rat's cage just to help keep their teeth down. So the next item I want to show you might be a bit of an obvious one but that is litter trays. Now there's really not too much to say about this, it is just a litter tray, but it's a really good idea to provide your rats with a litter tray in their cage. They are smart enough that you can train them to use it, and it's a really good way to keep on top of their waste and keep on top of the odour in the cage as well. So I do have a whole separate video on litter training rats, which I'll leave in the iCards and also down in the description. If you're interested in watching that and learning how to litter train your rats, I definitely recommend going and checking out. It is worth trying to litter train your rats. Some rats will be stubborn and won't use a litter tray, but it's definitely worth trying because it does make your life a lot easier when it comes to cleaning. So one of the last things I recommend adding into your rat's cage are tunnels like this one. So I think providing your rats with tunnels in their cage is a really fun thing for them to do. I do have a few different types of tunnels to show you now, and the first one is this one. So this is an extending tunnel and it does get quite long. I'll spare you the noise of it extending because it is quite loud, especially if you're watching this with headphones on, but this does get quite long and you can either use this one during playtime with your rats or you can bend it into a shape and put it on the base of their cage. What I do is I zip tie this onto the side of their cage and it just allows them to get from one place in their cage to another, so I really like these types of tunnels. They are a bit of a pain to clean, but I definitely recommend trying these with your rats. I think they'll really appreciate these. So you can also get tunnels like this one which are specifically for hanging in the cage. I have a few of these tunnels because they're just a really great thing to give your rats something else to do and something else to move through in the cage, so I definitely recommend this type of tunnel as well. So the last thing I have to mention is not quite an item, I guess it's a few items combined, and it is a little bit random because it is literally just a box of dirt. So I don't know how long I'm going to be able to hold this up, so I'll try to explain this quickly before my arm gets tired, but this is a dig box. And I wanted to include it on this list because I think it's a really great source of enrichment for your rats. So you can either just use these during your rats playtime or you can also provide them in the cage as long as you're prepared for them to make a bit of a mess in their cage but the rats really enjoy digging around for this. You can hide food in it, you can plant live plants in this and I think this is a great staple to have with your rats to enjoy watching them exhibit their natural behaviours and to also just provide them with that added enrichment. 
So I do have a video where I gave my rats a dig box if you want to watch that. I'll leave that in the iCards and also down in the description. But I definitely recommend trying a dig box with your rats. All it is is a plastic box with some cocoa soil inside and then you can also add live plants if you want. It's really fun to watch your rats digging around in this and they also really appreciate it as well so that's why I wanted to add this onto this list and I'm going to put it down now because my arm is aching. So that was my top 10 items that I recommend having with your rats. If you were a bit stuck on ideas for things to put in your rat's cage, hopefully this has been somewhat helpful to you. Everything that I've shown you in this video, I'll try my best to link it down in the description if you're looking to pick any of these things up. Also don't forget to check out Zoo Bio if there's any supplies you need for any of your animals. Definitely check out their website, the link is down in my description below. But yeah, that is it for today's video. Hopefully it was helpful to you if you own rats or you're thinking of getting rats, just to give you some ideas of some of the things you can put into their cage. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to see any future animal related videos from us, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye!